During the time of Bani Israel, there was a great drought, a major drought in the area. And so the people approached Prophet Musa alayhi salam and they said, Oh Musa, children are starving, the elders are suffering, the animals are dying, the vegetation is all shriveled up. Supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will send down rain to us. And so Prophet Musa alayhi salam gathered Bani Israel in an open area in a desert and he supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Ya Allah, the children are starving and the elders are suffering. The animals are dying and the vegetation is all shriveled up, dried up. Send rain down upon us. Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered him with the statement, O Musa, there's a servant amongst you. There's a servant amongst you who has been disobedient to me for 40 years. Tell him to leave the congregation and I shall send down the rain. And so Prophet Musa alayhi salam looked towards the congregation. He said, Oh, so, so and so, whoever this person is, have mercy upon the congregation and the people and leave so that Allah may send down rain to us. So that person, he knew who he was. He looked right to the right, he looked towards the left, nobody was leaving and he knew it was him. Nobody else except him. So he went, he covered himself with his shirt and he started to cry because people were suffering and the rain isn't coming down if he doesn't leave. But if he leaves, everyone will know that this person has been disobedient to Allah for 40 years. So what is he going to do? He was so remorseful, so sad. And he didn't know what to do. He just asked Allah, Ya Allah, forgive me. In tears of sincerity and repentance, mercy in his heart for the people and repentance, that remorsefulness in his heart caused the tears to come down. And as soon as the tears hit the ground, the rain also came down with it. So Prophet Musa alayhi salam looked and he said, Ya Allah, nobody left the congregation. Why did you send down the rain? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded, I sent down the rain because of that same person, because of his sincere repentance and his remorsefulness. I sent down the rain because of that same person. And so Prophet Musa alayhi salam said, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, show us that repenting servant of yours so that we may be thankful. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh Musa, for 40 years he disobeyed me and I covered up his sins. And now that he has repented, do you think I'm going to show you who he is? All of us, when you look at the problems and around us, we always start blaming other people, but it's no one else except for us, every one of us right now. We have to realize, Allah has covered up our sins, and it's time to change. And it's time to change, and even there are some people who even say, you know, Prophet Adam alayhi salam, we would still be in Jannah right now. We would still be in Jannah right now. If Prophet Adam didn't eat from the tree, La ilaha illallah. Don't blame Prophet Adam alayhi salam. We, every single day, we are put in that position. Allah, Allah says this is haram and we fail over and over again. But let us realize that we have to repent and there's a time when you make that conviction that you change. You don't just say it with your mouth. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Bahinu's hand is my soul. Waladhi nafsi biyadi. إِنِّي لَأَسْتَغْفِرُ wa atubi إِلَيْهِ فِي الْيَوْمِ مِئَةَ مَرَّةِ By Hinu's hand is my soul. I repent. I ask forgiveness and I repent. Istighfar is what you say with your mouth. Repentance is the conviction and showing it in action. That's what we need to do. Not just say it, but to put it into action. In a single day, the Prophet ﷺ repents a hundred times, and he asks forgiveness a hundred times. How many times have we asked today? 
And Allah has already forgiven his past and future sins. And thus, all of us, we have to realize that repentance entails that we make the conviction to be the best that we can be.